things are a little hmm, questionable right now, aren't they? Life's not quite as peachy as it has been. In fact, I would go as far as saying it's all pretty darn rubbish. But is this a reason to stop sharing positive stories? Hello, I'm Hilary Salzman and welcome to the Everyday Storyteller, a daily show for women with something to say. Throughout history, storytelling has been used in times of crisis to bring people together. There's a quote I absolutely love from Paul Coella, which sums this up perfectly. The power of storytelling is exactly this, to bridge the gap where everything else has crumbled. Today, stories can be a great way to humanise difficult subjects, provide a sense of hope and togetherness and give us all a welcome break from the continual doom scrolling. When the Ukraine war broke out, stories of humanity flooded our social networks. I turned to these rather than the news, getting a real sense of life on the ground and also to help restore some belief in humanity. So here are a few tips for getting the right tone in your stories during times of crisis. Firstly, don't be afraid to talk about normal things, including if you're a business owner, selling. We want normal. We crave normal. It's grounding and it's comforting. Your stories will really lift people up. Number two, be honest. It's okay if you're struggling or if you're absolutely nailing it right now. Talking about how you're managing it will help others feel less alone. Sharing stories of success provides hope, but also gives permission to others to talk about their successes without feeling bad. And number three, be flexible. If your story really is no longer relevant, change it. It is not some massive Liz Trust style U-turn, but it's a sign you're really thinking about who you're talking to and the problems they're facing right now. It's called reading the room. So even if you feel you've got nothing to share right now or you're not sure what to say that's relevant, don't stop using your voice. Keep on talking. Our stories are the one thing we can control and these stories matter now more than ever before. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And if you enjoyed this podcast, please do leave a five star rating. This really helps other women discover the show so they can learn how to make sure their voice matters too.